they're off. Six furlongs ahead of them, this Group 2 prize. They came out to a fairly good line. Galeron on the extreme right, so with over there, a second from the right, never just a dream, and Chateau in a dark blue jacket is chasing them. Down the centre, Cold Case, the spotted cap, Marshman, white jacket, the stars on the sleeves and cap is handy. Clear point in a yellow jacket just behind the leading line to the nose, bandit catch the paddy, and then chuzzle with the white cap, alongside Lakota blue, orange cap. Noble style, the all blue held together, last of all, Royal Scots from pink and green in front of him, waiting all night, is in rear black cap, and they've gone through halfway in the gym crack. Away to the right, never just a dream the stars on the sleeves down the center of the course now ridden along cold case clear point predominantly yellow is getting there marshman white jacket making his challenge hard under the rail noble star running on from the rear blue jacket ahead of royal scotsman marshman in front outside the furlong got first run on the field he kicked over two lengths clear noble style is out after him bridging the gap marshman noble style closing just wandering off a true line noble style getting to marshman no Noble style on top, unbeaten. Noble style wins the gym crack for Godolphin. Marsh run in second, they came right away. Cold case in third, chased by Chateau, Royal Scotswood and Galleron. Noble style has just won the gym crack, a deep looking gym crack, an impressive style. Charlie Appleby is his trainer. How impressed were you? No, I was delighted. But I won't, we won't hide from the matter. We've always felt, you know, held this horse in high regards. Um, we've been very lucky to give him be able to give him the time that we felt he was needed for him. Uh, you know, as we know, he broke the maiden there at Ascot, which had a lot of strength and depth in it. Um, you know, and of course, after that, all, all the roads were leading towards Royal Ascot. But um, you know, two weeks out from Ascot, there, we, we just weren't happy with him for no reason, no, 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 uh, no issues there. But he just wasn't showing us the same horse that he had been prior to his maiden success. So, uh, you know, uh, I was very lucky to have to make the the call and, and, and be given the permission to, to give this horse the, the time as needed um, and um, we did that and then we obviously we then decided to, uh, whether to take him to, to Newbury or whether to go to uh, to Newmarket for the maiden there and we, we took the maiden on a novice route should we say um, and he went and you know won there in a, in a style that some people would have probably sat on the fence and said well maybe this horse has regressed but we were very happy with the way the horse came out of it you, physically you could see how much of improvement was there um, and the team at home, we, we, you know, he galloped there uh, earlier in the week there and he looked as good as we've ever seen him. Um, so, you know, we came in here with confidence, but at the end of the day, like I say, as you mentioned there, there was plenty of strength and depth in that race. And, um, you know, he had to go and do it today and he's done it, he's done it, he's done it well. And the nice part about him is he, he goes through the line strong. Um, and, you know, obviously everybody, first question everyone, are you going to step up to seven? Well, he, he will step up to seven. Um, but. We all know this time of year, the next couple of weeks is very important for all of those two-year-olds. You know, they're all starting to sort of find their feet and sort themselves out with some important races coming up soon. You often take your best two-year-old to the national stakes, you know, Corto, Pinatubo, Native Trail. Would that be on your mind for this horse? It, it, I suppose it's, it's something there that could be certainly put into the melting pot. Um, it's just, uh, you know, what, whether we see... There's a few more horses to come out, should we say, over the next couple of weeks now, and, and whether this horse might be able to do it again over in the middle park and whether then we decide to step up at a later stage or whether we step him up to seven on his next start. Like I said, healthy discussions to have. He's still quite raw, isn't he? I mean, he's, 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 he's got, you, it looks like he's got bags of talents and when he, you know, trammels it all in the right direction, he could be formidable. Yes, I mean, you know, we saw it. when he broke his mane, he did it very easily. Um, then in the novice there, um, David Probert rode him that day for us and, and uh, he just tried to get a little bit of cover on him because he just wanted to be a bit headstrong there, being a bit fresh got a cover and, and the race sort of developed away from it. It's only a forerunner event, but uh, it developed away from him and, you know, he travelled he traveled so supremely well that, you know, as in the spring we couldn't have anything that could take him off the bridle, really. So many times he's come off the bridle, was be brutally honest, was at was it, uh, it Newmarket when he was asked for the first time and today, and I did say that William going to leg night, I said, look, Will, just be careful. Will's rode him at, at home, but he's never obviously had not ridden him in a race before and just said, He'll travel for fun for you, Will, but I said, when you when you ask him, I said, just give this colt a chance for after and strides to, for the penny to drop. And I said, then you can really sit into him and give him a dig there, and, and he should find. And uh, we were confident he would hit the line strong. Do you think he'll see out the Guinness trip next year? We've already got a Guinness quote for him. I see no reason why he won't, to be honest with you, he's got a, I say he's, uh, he's got a pedigree there that will suggest that he'll get it for sure. Um, and, uh, you know, he does, his, he does it all very nicely. And mentally, I think he's, he's doing it the right way 
now and hopefully he'll progress. Is he still at the top of the tree of your two-year-old? He's, he's up there for sure. Ooh, you've got some others that you, you're rating as highly. You've got, you feel you've got a very strong bunch. Reality will come over in the next few weeks, but we're dreaming still at the moment, should we say, Lydia? We, got, we have some nice colts, and I think, you know, I think we're very lucky in what the colts we have, but um, they've got to go and do it yet. He's done it, so yeah, on that evidence, he's the top of the tree for the moment. Congratulations. Brilliant. Thanks, Lydia. William Buick was on board, Noble Style, who's just produced a tremendous performance to win the Jim Cracker deep race as well. That's just communicating with Charlie Appleby here, but that's the first time, William, that you've actually ridden the horse in a race. What was it like? Yeah, it's great. I mean, I expected him to to sort of lack experience, which we know he does. So, um, and you know, the, the last, the, the twice he's won, he's kind of he's not learnt a lot, you know. So they've been a novice, typical novice races, obviously. So you know, today he was always going to learn plenty. But I, I thought he, I, th I thought he sort of he showed he showed everything really. You know, he he had to pick up and dig in, and you know, he showed he showed a lot of ability and, and courage. Yeah, there's still some rawness and some gangliness to him, and he, he did really well to overcome that. Yeah, and he did. I mean, he's, he's around his third run, so you this track, the, the leaders can always get away from you here, you know. So, you know, I had a bit of running to do to the furlong pole, and he sort of responded well, and and he got he got there in the end, you know. So, um, you know, to come from where he did, it's not always easy here, you know. I thought it was really impressive the way he picked up Marshman. Yeah. Um, Charlie's sort of juggling his head. National Stakes seven furlongs, Middle Park six furlongs. What's your feeling for him this season? I think seven furlongs will be certainly within his compass, and uh, you know you could possibly argue that he'd be more comfortable over that trip. So, and I think you know the question always is whether get him on next year. So mm -hmm. then you will probably know a little bit more after going seven furlongs. Mm -hmm. so exactly. So it's a good stepping stone with the guineas in mind. Exactly. Uh, congratulations. Very quick word about last line. Um, what are you expecting? He's solid. Yeah, he always runs a good race. And uh, you know, it looks like he's drawn on the right side. Um, good pace around us. You know, it'll be in the shake-up. Okay. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.